Welcome Pisces Cancer Scorpio bringing you your weekly reading going to do an elemental reading today um, It is all around this new moon energy. So I'm using the moonology deck and um, If you're new to the channel welcome I hope you'll consider subscribing liking and sharing and for those who are returning. Thank you so much. I've been really appreciating your engagement your comments and your um, emails they've been so supportive and mostly positive so i really appreciate that just going to make a little note there was a comment yesterday on the um the air reading that i did and i left it up for a while and then i took it down because it was just so darn negative um but one point was well taken if if the person had just posted it as a question it wouldn't have bothered me but it wasn't a question it was just um, ignorant and negative so down it went to my channel um, what the, the question should have been was what you know how is an elemental reading helpful as opposed to an individual zodiac reading and I'm just gonna say I know you all know it but these readings that we're all doing here are for the collective so that's why they don't resonate with everybody all the time they couldn't possibly we're drawing on the most powerful storylines coming through <clears throat> energetically so if I do a zodiac reading for Pisces I'm using a fishing rod I'm pulling in a fish if I do a reading for water signs Pisces Cancer Scorpio I'm casting a net which one is going to bring in more fish I'm just saying it, that's just how it works so these elemental readings um, if you do watch them sometimes you'll get more frequent hits for what you're going through because more fish are being pulled into the into the energetic field as it were so that's my little spiel on the elemental readings and why they are just as powerful if not more so than the individual zodiac readings that's it okay so this new moon is in Aquarius I am pulling cards for divine masculine and divine feminine oh my goodness divine masculine hello nice okay so divine masculine a fiery a fiery climax approaches take it any way you want to take it divine masculine this is full moon in aries it kind of feels that way with this we just wrapped up the new moon closes out the eclipse season it's the first new moon of this new year it closes out this really radical eclipse season we just went through so it is like a fiery climax in a way except that aquarius is very much more of a collective minded energy so there's that a win-win outcome is forecast for you divine feminine win-win i like that good energies i love the colors there too so again this new moon in aquarius is also squaring uranus which means that you can expect the unexpected there may be it can be shock and awe so anxieties <laughs> may run high um but uh, there can be pleasant unexpected breakthroughs pleasant unexpected changes for the better okay um change is never easy for most of us so if it comes on your path just release relax let go of the control over outcomes try not to resist and you will find yourself being projected further out into your um into your aligned path i'll say it that way okay let's go here queen of cups underlying energy unconditional available emotionally available loving kind compassionate for those who are new this top row represents the your divine counterpart unless you're the cross watcher then this may be your energy here i already see uh earth sign energy <clears throat> water sign oh boy this is your row here if i have it right now <coughs> excuse me if the energies are reversed that's fine just flip the energies doesn't make the reading wrong just flip them and as always don't force these readings if it fits it fits if it doesn't it's not your reading you can check out the other readings uh elemental readings for your other personal planets for example 
I'm a Virgo, so I watch Earth readings, but I also have two planets in Leo, so I always watch the fire readings as well. Those tend to be more accurate. Not going to lie. Um, <clears throat> all right, so, so we're starting with unconditional love here. Uh, Queen of Cups. Emotional availability, as I said. What I see here, what's jumping out at me right away, is this past energy row. This person up here could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but um, this is usually a card of victory, but it can just be divinely gifted insight, wisdom, knowledge, some piece of information that comes in like a flash out of the blue and changes the picture. And that's what I feel happened here because for you here, uh, water sign, we have the Ten of Swords, uh, end of a painful cycle, and then in the connection, the Ten of Wands, laying down a burden. So I almost feel like something happened here that closed out a chapter. And this now feels new because we have Page of Pentacles. That's a new, fresh start, something stable. But we have um, your energy water sign in this Four of Cups. So either feeling rejected or just emotionally detached, not really aware of this ace of cups coming in from spirit right there i don't know if you how well you can see that it's like coming in with the hand of spirit very hard to see but um just sort of being feeling sort of um disengaged emotionally followed by the five of cups which there's some regret so now if you think about it see how this person is focused on the three cups and they're not aware of the ace of cups right above them it's just above their field of vision they're all focused on these three cups and they're looking at it kind of like meh now same person on hands and knees over the scattering of these three cups right they're knocked over and now this person has regret so if you just look at the cards just for the imagery, it's pretty powerful. And behind this figure is the Two of Cups. Two of Cups represents the soulmates. So uh, I'm getting a sense here that Water Signs, some painful chapter ended. It's done. Now there's this sort of emotional detachment, disengagement, um, really holding out for that ace of cups and in the future there may be some regret and in in the connection right now we have resistance i think this person wants a fresh start whoever you're dealing with could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn could be an air sign as i said and i just don't see you being interested and therefore there's resistance in the connection but scorpio energy transformation on the horizon so let's take a look i'm most interested in uh the queen of cups that is in your row that is your energy cancer pisces scorpio high vibration love yeah balancing out some energies knight of wands one more on that empress so i sort of feel like when the queen of cups is at full tilt like just pushed to the edge vibration level drops into neediness okay so you have to be aware of that and if you're a water sign you know what i'm talking about because emotions run deep and so what I'm feeling here is this emotional availability, yes. High vibration love, yes. But perhaps overdoing it on the emotion. And that's why we have temperance, Sagittarian energy here. She could be dealing with a Sag, and I say that because it's followed up by Knight of Wands, which is also Sagittarius. So if you're not dealing with a Sag or a fire sign, <clears throat> you may be dealing with some energy within yourself that is very passionate and that needs to be balanced temperance is a card of patience and balancing of energies tempering the energies right the hot and cold um 
And it's followed here by the Empress. That is divine feminine, unconditional love, as I said. So I do feel, if this is you, water sign, that you really had, you really had a struggle. And you just had to close the door on something. Uh, too painful. The energies were too wrought with high levels of emotion that were hard to handle. And... And I think I think it it threatened your energy. Ten of Swords here. So, what I'm okay. Queen of Swords. Wow. Yeah, you had to cut something out. Ten of Swords, Three of Wands, and then the Queen of Swords. I think here this Three of Wands. You know when you're looking out on the horizon, waiting for your ships to come in, and what you get is stabbed in the back. You gotta cut that out. And I think that's what happened. Um, you were you were working on manifesting something in, in, this, in this connection or in another connection, and it just didn't come through and you had to cut it out. That's why we're in the Four of Cups energy now. You're kinda like, whoever this reading is for, yeah, you're over it, not interested, reject, you're, re oh, wow, I, I think, <clears throat> I think you're not going to settle, I think this card is, it's stuck energy, it's closed off energy, but I think, and you can see that person's all sort of wrapped around themselves. I feel like you've got this Ace of Cups on your mind. It is being offered to you. I'm not sure you're seeing it. Uh, I want you to know that that, if there's some reconcili this reconciliation coming in that could lead to your happiness, Nine of Cups, just be aware just be aware. I am feeling this is like getting getting over a rough patch. That's this is a card of peace, truce. Um, see the the wreath of peace is up there on that wand, coming back from battle where no blood was shed. It's a it's reconciliation between warring factions. If you think about when these cards were developed, so and that could that reconciliation could lead to some emotional fulfillment or happiness or wishes being fulfilled but i i feel like you're just so darn withdrawn that you may miss it and that's fine i mean we have free will we do have free will this person here um well i'm gonna look at this five of cups first i'm all focused on you right now water sign i feel this is all your energy coming through yeah the moon and the hanged man so <clears throat> a focus on the past regrets um maybe there this this feels like fear to me so you're not just going to feel some regret over a this this four of cups can be a missed opportunity a missed opportunity is what could be happening here and um then, then you have regret about that. So know that if this is happening right now, water sign, if someone is trying to make peace with you, if someone is trying to offer you a fresh start, something more stable, and you don't take it, free will, right? You may shift into a period of regret and fear of what the future holds, right? Because... You'll be focused on the past and fearful of the future, and it will throw you into hanged man mode, which is fine. That's looking at the situation from a new perspective, waiting for enlightenment. It's a, it's an intentional delay. Um, but it is stuck energy. And I see that whoever this is is trying to mirror you and move slow. Knight of Pentacles, very slow moving energy. <clears throat> so let's see what this ace of swords was about ah ace of cups 
So I kind of feel like this person in the past <coughs> may have flirted with you. Um, it may have gotten physical fast, may have gotten physical fast. And they thought, you know, they hit they got lucky here, right? They got lucky. This is a <laughs> card of luck and victory. Um, and then it dawned on them that this was something bigger, Ace of Cups. So sometimes, uh, water sign, there are those of us who find love through physical expression. So we explore the physical realm first and then drop into our heart center. For others of us, it works the other way around. We have to feel the emotional connection first before we can explore the physical. I have a feeling that there was a conflict here with that. But the thing that you need to know, water sign, is that even if this person felt victorious in their approach toward you in a physical way, maybe it didn't feel as highly evolved as, as you wanted it to be, they know what they had. They know. This went from zero to 60 for them real fast. And that's why you're being offered this fresh start that's more stable. I know that you, you ended it. I feel you ended it. I feel you ended it. And I'm going to look at this 10 of wands first. I feel you got hurt over emotional perhaps it's okay it's not an indictment yeah yeah you went into queen of pentacles uh mode the queen of pentacles is all about taking care of oneself so even though you're a water sign you can get grounded when you need to and i think you needed to you laid down a burden here in this connection uh queen of pentacles it was like you're you're that's what you're saying i need stability i need to feel grounded i need to put myself first take care of myself there was a lot of anxiety between both parties this is the part of the reading about the connection this nine of swords so i think it caused both of you a lot of mental anguish um <clears throat> <coughs> sorry i'm still trying to get over that cough that i had Tried to spare all of you that nastiness this week. Page of Pentacles is person offering you a fresh start. It's something grounded, tangible. It's small. Two of Swords. There's um, they don't know. One more on that. They're at a crossroads. They're trying to offer you a fresh start, and this is breaking their heart. They're afraid they're going to get their heart broken. That's what this is about. That Two of Swords, it can mean a couple different things, but if you look at it in general, in most, in most decks, the swords cross right about here at one's heart. So I feel this person is, there is indecision here, but indecision about whether or not offering this fresh start is going to result in a victory or in them getting their heart broken that's why they're moving slow knight of pentacles they're being slow methodical responsible here in the future they're going to take their time they're, they want to prove their reliability pentacles very grounded very reliable nine of pentacles this person is single and will stay single <laughs> totally ready to take the leap of faith here would like a brand new day and you on the other hand you're going to be like whoop back up i still haven't gotten over what went down in the past so here we have the resistance and the connection seven of wands what is the seven of wands about here for water sign king of swords <laughs> so it's you know it's resistance <clears throat> and rejection we've got that four of cups again i 
but I'm not so sure it's total rejection. I almost feel, this feels to me like you're both standing up for yourself. I say that with a question mark. For some of you, this is really like, you're each taking a stand to kind of um, push your agenda. This feels very, you know, men are from Mars, women are from Venus to me, I'm just saying. Um, followed by this King of Swords. So now we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. We're talking cold. There's coldness here, detachment. This, this King of Swords is about honor, right? So here I feel this divine counterpart up top here, water sign, is saying, I'm an honorable person, and I feel that you're here, water sign, saying, I want to be treated with honor and respect and dignity. Have some character. But I feel this person is saying, I do have character. I am that person. Interesting. And um, then we have the Eight of Pentacles, and that is about really working hard. I feel that there's some measure of trying to come up with a creative solution to the problem between you, to what's going like sideways here. And it is a communication issue. And then I feel there's this withdrawal. And I do feel that's coming from you, water sign. But Scorpio, you come on the scene just in the nick of time. Some people don't like the death card. I welcome it. It is transformation an end got a something has to die off here so something new can grow lovers yeah and the card on the bottom this is sort of unconscious motivation energies that come through on the bottom of the deck can be very valuable because it's what you don't see it's what you don't know that's going on behind the scenes really sometimes within yourself but here we have, um, in the future of this connection, there will be transformation for the lovers. This is card of Gemini. <clears throat> so we have Scorpio, Gemini, and we have the Ace of Wands. So now we have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. What I like about the Ace of Wands is it's like a burst of passion. So I do feel, and it is creative energy. So I do feel that something happens here where there's a shift for this, for this divine couple a shift something transforms it will go slow it will go slow this person here is going to stay single and wait wait and take the leap of faith when the time is right i think you here um water sign feel the need to to really rehash the past that you know that talk about your fears you're going to hold back wait for a sign wait for enlightenment try to look at the situation from a fresh perspective and it works it works. You choose each other, and this is what you've got. A brand new opportunity, a fresh start, but this is like a divine gift of passion. This isn't just any old passion. And then the seeds have been planted, and your patience will prevail. This, this feels more like that temperance energy, okay? So I kind of feel like this, this whole underlying energy here is about emotional availability remember right now there's a lot of resistance on your part here water sign to not be emotionally available you want to ha rehash the past you've got some regrets or something that went very sideways is really bothering you i feel this person is going to stay engaged with you until you process that and there's like this massive transformation and then you just have to wait for things to grow seven of pentacles and when i say wait i mean let this person prove their stability over time that's what i mean pentacles but i'd kind of feel that this is this whole underlying energy is saying yes this got you whatever went down got you right where right where it hurts you the most and it just kicked into overwhelm here and i think that you've been you know you need to balance those energies temper the energies transmute something that went sour into something sweet knight of wands and empress i do feel that you will this divine counterpart will cycle back through i don't know which one is the divine feminine but divine feminine i think is the one who has the decision to make 
there you have it. Okay, so now in the extended, I, as I, well, I might not have mentioned it, I will be reviewing messages to you from your higher self, spirit, the universe, and then messages from you to your divine counterpart from them to you, as well as looking at the outcome and timing for when this may shift, because I do see some stuck energy here. So we'll see if a timing card comes out, it would be in that position. If this is your storyline and you feel like following me, the link to the extended is below. Otherwise, have a wonderful new moon, set those intentions, and I'll see you on a future video. Take care, water sign. Bye.